So ready for the party. Oh. My lips are super dry and disgusting. How am I supposed to get soft lips before the party? Hey everyone, it's Emma. So today I'm gonna to be showing you guys five different ways to heal your chapped lips at home in minutes. I don't know about you guys, but I have been suffering terribly with chapped lips because of the bipolar weather in California. It's super cold in the morning and then it's super hot in the afternoon. And I find myself applying chapstick all day literally and it's kind of just like a temporary relief so I've been looking on the internet for some remedies that are more long-term relief for chap lips and I have found some amazing ones that work wonders and the best part is that you don't have to go to the store and buy all these expensive weird ingredients because I hate when recipes call for these expensive weird ingredients and I don't have time to go buy them I just want to make it at home really fast so if you were like me then you have come to the right place because I'm going to be showing you guys five of those with ingredients you most likely have at home because I had them at home and yeah so that means you probably should have them at home too you know what I'm saying um, they're super easy work wonders for your lips and you will feel amazing your lips will feel like a baby's butt after these remedies and they're really relaxing too so I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and let's get on with it what let's get on I'm sorry <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let's get started the first way to heal your dry lips is poof green tea and green tea has tannins that will calm the burning sensation of your chapped lips so you can use any green tea I'm just using this one that I had at home just take it out of the packaging and then run it under some warm water put this on your lips and leave it on for about five minutes When the time is up, just wipe it off and rinse it with some warm water. The second way may come as a surprise, but it's actually a cucumber. And the cucumber has water in it that will soothe and replenish your dry lips. So just cut it into thin slices, then apply that to your lips and let it sit for about 15 minutes. Way number three is honey and we're not just going to be using honey by itself we're actually going to be making a honey mask so all you'll need is honey and a ziploc bag and just cut the ziploc bag into a small rectangle shape a little bit longer than the length of your lips and what this mask is going to do is it's going to lock in the healing properties of the honey and you won't be tempted to lick them off so just dip a spoon into the honey and use this to apply it to your lips Then stick on your mask and leave it on for about 10 to 20 minutes. When the time is up, carefully remove the mask and rinse it off with some warm water. Your lips are going to feel amazing. Also, be careful not to lick off the honey because that would also lick off the moisture. Method number four is coconut oil, which is a natural moisturizer, and it actually forms a layer around your lips that locks out cool air and keeps the moisture in, and you can take it to go like I'm showing here, and to apply it, just use the end of a spoon and keep it on like chapstick. The final method is Vaseline, and this is actually very different from chapstick because it's made to heal dryness for longer periods of time, and you can get it in little travel sizes like this, so just dip your finger in and apply it like chapstick, and that is it. Okay, now let's try this again. Perfect, now I'm ready for the party. 